you said it, uh, muscle, muscle, muscle is so important. And Sherry Tork is with me, and we are talking about muscle because I love working out, I love doing my cardio, and I started to back off on lifting weights because I'm a big guy, and I'm thinking, okay, you know what, I don't want to be big and bulky, so I'll lay off the weights. I shouldn't lay off the weights, should I? Absolutely not. We need to have that resistance training, the weight training exercises to maintain our muscle mass because muscle health in general is one of the, I would say, most overlooked factors that um, affects everything from your energy levels to your bone health, even heart health, how your body can manage its blood sugar. And the challenge is as we get older, I'm not saying that we're in that category yet, <laughs> but for those that are over age 50, we start to lose about 1 to 3% of muscle mass per year. And that's a process called sarcopenia. It's inevitable, but we can fight back against it. There are things that we can do to maintain that muscle. Exercise for sure, protein, amino acids, that's all part of the mix. Yeah, and of course we want to break the myth of people saying, well, I can't lift weights, I can't do this. It's very easy with just some bands, right? Right, exactly. Exercise tubing, um, using light hand weights in the comfort of your own home, that's critical. And, and you don't have to spend a ton of time. So really we're talking about maybe three or four uh, sessions a week, 15, 20 minutes, that's a Oh, wow, and that's easy to do, and you can carry it's those with you on do. vacation. Exactly. So, yeah. all right, the next one. Protein, getting enough protein in your diet, and so I brought with me some of my favorite uh, vegetarian sources of protein, edamame, which are great to throw into salads, or just a snack on if you're out hiking, uh, nuts, chickpeas, these roasted chickpeas are a fantastic, great source of protein as well. There's protein drinks if you're not getting enough. We need to have about 0.8 to 1 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, so you have to do the math to figure it out, but if you're looking to increase and, and rebuild that lost muscle, you need to double that. So it's often hard to get enough because the challenge is with, with plant-based proteins, you don't get a ton of amino acids, the essential amino acids, yeah. so that's where supplementation can be very beneficial to make sure you're getting those essential aminos. And I like with the edamines because here in Phoenix what you do is you get the cooked ones already they're frozen if you leave them out especially as it's warm here they will of course defrost and then you can start popping yeah, out lunch time exactly there. yeah and they stay fresh just keep them in the freezer pop them out rin rinse them under cold water and they're good to go but you know again with when it comes to uh, plant-based proteins they often don't have enough of the essential amino acids which are necessary to boost the process called muscle protein synthesis and that's how our body rebuilds that lost yeah. muscle so you can look to supplement with the amino acids that can be really helpful this is a uh, fairly new product on the market called rejuvenate and it literally helps to rejuvenate your muscles rejuvenate that's this the is word not, I this I is that. not something to like pump up bodybuilder muscles but just to help rebuild that lost muscle to um, prevent muscle loss and I made a drink for you to try let's take a taste of it so this is a fruit punch flavor and there are um, there's also a raspberry you can taste mm, that like so that. it's high in amino acid called leucine along with other essential amino acids and it's been studied for about 17 years, 25 clinical studies. Mm. So it's very refreshing. It's sugar-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, and it comes in these little packets. So what you do is you just mix that with water, and it's just one packet a day. And also um, good to go. It's good to go. Now, you won't find this in, in pharmacies or health food stores yet, but if you go online at rejuvenatemuscle.com, you can check that out. But uh, you know, it's interesting. They have studies also showing people yeah. that are inactive, which we don't want to be, but say you've had surgery and you're laid yeah. Up and you've, you know, a hip, a knee replacement, some kind of broken leg issue. This can actually help to prevent that atrophy, the muscle loss that occurs Point. when you aren't on weight bearing and, and doing those movements. So, it. a lot of great benefits. We got all the information on azdailymix.com. So, we want to make sure you start building your muscles up and ready. So, when we come back, we got more stuff for you to build upon your mind and fun when the Daily Mix returns after this.